The second day of the exercise took officials to the Northern Region Health Directorate, where the Allied Health Professional Council is located. The team, upon checks, noticed that the Allied Health Professional Council had tapped power illegally directly from the cables. When we came, we realized that the Allied Health Sciences, they have uh, connected direct and they have illegally bypassed the meter that they are using with the Ghana Health Service, the Regional Health Directorate. So the Regional Health Directorate, they are on the prepaid, they are paying for it, but the Allied Health Science Section, they have bypassed the meter direct. So, and we don't know when, when they did it. They claim they did it some few um, uh, weeks ago, but we will not be able to uh, confirm that. So we will do our own investigation and then subject them to the process and make sure that um, uh, the law will take its course. I mean, when, when you do illegal, just like any other customer, we have to analyze, we pick the load, we have to analyze, and then we will uh, recover by estimating their consumptions and ensuring that we build them with it. From there, they move to the judicial service and the economic and organized crime office. In our list, we had a Yoka account that uh, we were following up on. But when we got here, we realized they have a prepaid meter and they are buying up to date. I think uh, this month they, they did a purchase. So we agree with them that we will go and find out what really happened because in our data system, our, our, our database, we have a lot of information. We don't know what happened. One customer can apply twice, it can be created. So we, want, we agree that we'll go and find out and really try to locate that particular uh, Yoko account. So that's what has happened. That is why we are not disconnecting them. They are unprepared and they are buying units. We are currently at the, um, the High Court premises of Tamale Metro. I think um, we engaged the staff, the officer in charge, and we realized that they made payment of 54000 like just last, last month. Last month. Okay, I think in February. Okay, so we realize that they have a plan of consistent payment. But it's not very good, but because they are, they are committed to paying, we agree that we will we'll, we'll, we'll further engage them to, to fast track things. But they haven't been defaulting anyway. How much are they good? Um, Currently, I think the balance on the account is about 64000 and that includes a uh, February bill, February and March. They haven't gotten two bills. So we are giving them two weeks to clear that, otherwise we'll come back and disconnect them. Meanwhile, some affected customers, such as the Tamale College of Education, are currently running on generator services as a result of NETCO's ongoing exercise. Here is the principal of the college, Dr. Suleimana Idrisu, speaking on the disconnection and its impact. Uh, one of our offices where a meeting is happening, I was there, I left the place some 30 minutes or one hour ago when you came. Um, we have had to put on the, um, a generator and that comes at an additional cost. Uh, whatever, whatever the situation may be, the cost of running a generator uh, in an institution like this is far higher than tapping the source, I mean the power from um, a major supplier like VRA. Uh, so that is it. And then the, um, I would say that um, uh, because our students are not on the ground, the impact is not that great. Uh, that is not to say that um, um, there's no impact because um, the halls of residence have all been disconnected and some of the classrooms. Um, so. But I do hope and pray that um, we'll be able to do something about this before school resumes. Yeah. According to NETCO, they will consider this exercise for a one-month period to at least recover half of what is owed them. From Tamale, I am Daina Ungwan, reporting for City News.